Hi there, my name's Mary, and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect half lap joint, whether it's on an end like this or in the middle. Up until recently, I've used different methods to make half lap joints. I've tried using my table saw with my miter gauge, I've used my band saw, I've even used chisels and done them by hand. And what I found is every single time the results have been very inconsistent, never getting that perfect, accurate joint like on these, you want to get them nice and flush, nice and perfect. I'm never getting accurate results. I want to use these different methods and it becomes really frustrating when you need to make repeated half lap joints. Uh, so what I did, I did a little research and I came up with a method that you can use to get accurate and perfect results every single time you make a half lap joint. Now all you'll need for this is a cross cut sled for your table saw, a combination square, and you'll need the secret ingredient which is this little piece, and I'll show you how to make one. So let's get started. The key to this method is to make a custom spacer the exact same thickness as your saw blade. Start by squaring up your piece of wood using your crosscut sled, then cut a thin strip about an eighth of an inch thick. Remove the crosscut sled, and then find two scrap pieces of plywood that you'll sandwich the blade in. The goal is to try and fit the spacer in between the sandwich, it likely won't fit, so just use some sandpaper on a flat surface to sand it down until it fits between the plywood boards. The goal is to have a perfect fit. The first step to cutting a perfect half lap joint is finding the exact midpoint between the top and bottom of your board. While you can certainly measure the thickness and divide by half, this can sometimes be impractical and lead to slight error. An easier method is using a combination square. Set it to roughly half the thickness of the board, then trace a line starting from the top of the board, flip it over and do the same from the bottom. The goal is that the lines should be perfectly one on top of each other. If not, adjust the combination square until they are perfectly aligned, and now you've found dead center. Next, it's time to adjust the blade height. With your crosscut sled in place, slowly raise the blade until it creeps up close to the line, but is still beneath it. It's better to slowly adjust upwards than to cut too deep on the first pass. Using a scrap piece of wood with the same dimensions as your workpiece, shave off one end, then flip over the piece and repeat on the other side. You should be left with a thin shaving in between the two cuts. So gently raise the blade and repeat once again. Notice after one pass I'm left with a thin razor thin piece here. That's exactly what you want. On the second pass, it completely disappears. This is the perfect height of the blade. The method is similar whether you're cutting half laps on the end of a board or in the middle. I'll start by showing you how to cut them on the end. You'll need both work pieces. Start by setting your second one, the one that we're not cutting into, up against the blade and then butt a stop block up against it and clamp it to your crosscut sled. Then you can remove that second work piece and place your spacer up against the stop block. Next, butt your workpiece, the one that you want to cut into, up against your spacer and make the cut. Then you can remove the spacer and make repeated cuts between the initial cut that we made up until the end of the workpiece. Take your time with this. The goal is to make the cuts as close together as possible while watching your fingers. And it's a good idea to keep the stop block in place because you'll likely be able to use it in the same position for the second workpiece. In theory, they should be the same dimension. It's also a good idea to mark your spacer to make sure you don't throw it out or you don't lose it because you'll want to use it again and again. After repeating the cut for the second piece, you may find that the fit isn't exactly perfect. Pretty close, but not perfect. You'll need to smooth out the bumps left by the blade just by lightly sanding each of the work pieces and then dry fit again and you should find the fit to be absolutely perfect. Let me tell you, I am so happy with this. I can't tell you how many lap joints I've made and been frustrated with the results. So I am so pleased with this method. Every single time you get perfect accuracy. All right, so that was for making half lap joints on the end of a board. Now I wanna show you how to make them in the middle. So essentially the steps are the same. To start off, you have to find the midpoint of your board, but then you wanna mark where you wanna have your joint. So I'm gonna have them about two inches in from each of the boards. 
So I made that mark and then I'm going to use that as a reference. You want to line it up with the right side of your cross cut sled's kerf. Then you'll want to butt up the second work piece perpendicular to that and then squeeze in your stop block which you will clamp to your fence. Once you're all set up and ready, go ahead and make the first cut. Once you've made the cut, you can go ahead and take the second work piece out of the way and replace it with your custom spacer. And then you'll want to butt the work piece up against the spacer and hold that down tightly and then make your second cut. You now have both outside cuts for your half lap joint. All you need to do now is remove the material that's left in between those two lines. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. I know I sure learned a lot making it myself. And if you did like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos to come. Just as before when we were doing the half laps on the end of the boards, you'll find that the fit isn't exactly perfect right off the table saw. This is an easy fix though. With some sandpaper you can uh, smooth out those bumps left behind by the, the saw and just lightly smooth the inside of each of the cuts and then you'll find that the fit is absolutely perfect.